क्वेश्चन नंबर 156 मैक्सिमम एब्जॉर्प्शन ऑफ डाइजेस्टेड फूड अकर्स इन माउथ स्टमक लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन स्टूडेंट्स देयर आर इन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन स्टूडेंट्स द सेल्स व्हिच फॉर्म द विलाई दे आल्सो प्रोड्यूस न्यूमरस माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रोजेक्शंस कॉल्ड एज माइक्रोविलाई and these microvilli give a brush border appearance and this modification also increases the surface area multiple times enormously and this modification increases the surface area enormously leading to maximum absorption the correct answer here would be option number 4 small intestines question 157 food substances which cannot be absorbed from enterocytes into blood are monosaccharides amino acids electrolytes like sodium ions and triacylglycerides fatty acids and glycerol students are insoluble substances so these are not directly absorbed into the blood fatty acids and glycerol so for their absorption they are incorporated into small droplets called as micelles and these micelles move into the intestinal mucosa or enterocytes then they are rearranged into very small protein coated fat globules called as chylomicrons and these chylomicrons are transported to the lacteals which are the lymph vessels in the villi and from these lacteals these are ultimately released into the blood stream or blood capillaries The right answer here would be option number four, triacylglycerides, whereas others are absorbed directly into the blood. Question number one fifty eight. Which one is not a function of large intestine? Adhering the undigested particles. This is true. Lubricating the undigested particles. This is also correct. Absorption of water does take place in large intestine. Absorption of alcohol students mainly takes place in stomach. whereas absorption of which is also responsible for absorption of water and simple sugars and no significant absorptive activity takes place in large intestine odd man out here is absorption of alcohol and the right answer is option number 4 question 159 which of the following reactions can occur at slightly acidic ph starch conversion into maltose maltose splitting into glucose and glucose di and monoglycerides conversion into fatty acid and glycerol and digestion of proteins into dipeptides students as we know the process of digestion begins in the oral cavity itself with the breaking down of starch and when starch is getting converted into maltose an important enzyme is salivary amylase and this acts optimally at a ph of 6.8 which is slightly acidic so the right answer here would be option number 1 whereas for the remaining options which take place in small intestines and small intestine provides for alkaline environment the correct option here is 1 question 160 hormone responsible for stimulation of gastric gland to secrete and release gastric juice is gastrin secretin duocrinin somatostatin the gastrin is the hormone which stimulates the gastric glands to release gastric juice whereas secretin would promote the release of bicarbonates in the pancreatic juice it increases the secretion of bile and decreases the gastric secretion instead it also decreases the gastric motility whereas somatostatin students it suppresses the release of hormones from the digestive tract the right option here would be option number 1 gastrin 